In this video, we're going to be looking at approximating the derivative at a point, giving a table. So, this is a continuation of a series of videos that I've done about introducing the fundamental concept of the derivative. And if you remember, this is basically the whole point of our first uh, application. And so, let's we should be able to do this exercise. So, I'm going to ask you to pause and come up with your answer, and then you can check it against my solution. So the first exercise is we're given this following table of values for x and f of x, uh, 112, 217, and 325, or three points on the graph of y equals f of x. And we want to use this information to give us the best possible approximation of f prime of 2 given the information in this table. You should be able to do this if you have been following along with my videos up to this point. So uh, press pause, work it out now, and then come back. Okay, now you're back. Hopefully you're done with this. And remember, we can use, uh, for example, we could use these two points and find the slope. That would be a difference quotient with h is 1. We could also use these two points and do a, a difference quotient or a slope. That would be a difference quotient with h is negative 1. But the best way to do it is to take this point and this point on either side and do the slope formula, which is the symmetric difference quotient. And so if you work that out, that's 25 minus 12 for delta y or delta f. So a change of 13 going up from the point 112 to 325. And we're going to the right, 2. So a delta x, 3 minus 1 is 2. That's 2 times the h, which is 1. h being 1 is the distance from the 2 to the 3 are also between the 1 and the 2. So this is a symmetric difference quotient. And 13 divided by 2 is 6.5 if we choose to use decimals. So in fractions, the slope is 13.2 or 6.5. That's our best approximation of the derivative given this information. Okay, let's try another one. Same kind of problem. You should be able to knock this out very quickly. Use this table and approximate f prime at 4. Press pause, come back when you're finished. Okay, again, we want to use a symmetric difference quotient. Uh, there's a couple ways we could do a symmetric difference quotient. We could use these points further away, but what we want to do is a symmetric difference quotient with the smallest h, the closest points in. Notice from 1 to 4 uh, is 3, from 4 to 7 is 3. Oops. So, in fact, this is will be a symmetric difference quotient. And, of course, we just use the slope formula. 6 minus 21 over 7 minus 1, that's a, a delta x or 2 uh, h of 6, h is 3, 2 times that is 6, from 1 to 7 is 6, delta x, delta y uh, from 21 to 6 is, 20, is 6 minus 21 is negative 15, it went down 15, that reduces to negative 5 halves or in decimals negative 2.5, so that's the best answer, our best approximation for the derivative at 4 that we can get using the information in that table. Next video, we'll try to approximate the derivative given a graph.